I've never seen the body attack its own self for no reason. This is the enigma with male pattern balding being a immune response type of problem. Something fishy there. This is Back to the Barber, where scalp conditions are met and maintained. It's your host, AQBS, but most importantly, a fellow client. Hope all is well today, gents. The primary topic is the immune enigma. Are pathogens the first cause? Seconded by other relevant information and commentary. So, let's get started. One of the problems that I have came across, and many people, as a bro scientist... I call myself, or let's just say independent researchers. We try to figure out what causes male pattern balding. And although I know that there are several different causes, one that we seem to not like to talk about, or it seems to be kind of on the hush hush, just never really mentioned, right? Is why the immune system is responding that way to the follicles in every other sense we trust that the immune system is fighting against things that don't belong in the body or things that may be a threat so imagine that with male pattern balding we just say it kind of slightly kind of like a sleight of hands hey yeah it's an immune response and then they stop there. And then they'll go just a little further and they'll say, well, the immune system is somehow, for some reason, attacking the follicle. So we use a DHT inhibitor in order to stop the immune system from attacking the follicle. When you really look at this, it's kind of ridiculous. It, it sounds like it's, it's made up, but it's, it also sounds like we're trying to almost like kind of cover up what it really is and for some reason if you ever notice there are no doctors or many people would talk about cleaning the body out of pathogens or bacteria or the fact that people have worms or the fact that people have you know live viruses they'll they'll say live viruses they'll say we're full of good and bad bacteria in the stomach they're not talking about the trillions of bacteria probably that we have in our entire body. They're not talking about how some of that, those pathogens get into the bloodstream and they cause issues. So that's my theory. So what this video today is about is the immune enigma. Why would the immune system look at a follicle, which is nothing but a, a complex pore that grows hair one of many on the body, it decides that is the one that is most harmful to the body. So let me give you a few analogies on that. We have ear hair. And if you notice, it's probably full of wax, right? When you get in there, for the most part, for most people. You have nose hairs, constant pollution, constant things going in the nose. And then you have let's just be honest leg hair you have private area hair underarm hair these things hold a lot more bacteria these things sweat uh, dirt grind other things waste from the body and yet that hair stays can you imagine it the hair in your neither world has no problem growing in that area. Yet, you shower daily, you soap shampoos in your clean person, in your scalp, the hair can't stay there. That's an enigma, if you, if you have one, right? So the point I'm making is, 
if the immune system is deciding that the follicle on top of the head is what is the threat, so you ask yourself, why would it do that? Just keep asking yourself, why? Okay? Why is it inflamed? Because it's infected. Why is it infected? Because something is there that's causing this immune response. What is it? It's only going to be two or three things. A false alarm, right? Or two, some sort of protein that the body deems as poisonous to you. Or three, a pathogen that's actually poisonous or is in the wrong place at the wrong time. And I believe that most men have a combination of either a pathogen or the protein. This is why diet matters. Not because, just because minerals and vitamins make sense, right? You need that in order to grow anything or to keep anything going in your body, right? That's your sustenance. The bigger problem with this is with with diet being not correct is if you eat or consume things that you are allergic to or that causes inflammation then you might as well have a pathogen outbreak because the body would treat it as such it's trying to get rid of it it causes mucus it causes uh, lipids to attack and and that is the immune system kind of the, the lipid system so when you look at the lipid system which calcifies as the hair is thinning as the scalp conditions are being worsened. And then the gut system being the immune system, it gives you a clue. And what I figured out is I believe that the reason why we go bald for many of us is because something that we were eating Inflame the gut lining. Inflame what we call there is the villi. So it's pretty funny how we have villi hairs on the on the scalp, and we have villi or uh, villus hairs on the scalp, and we have villi in the in the stomach, right? And have villi on the tongue for the most part. Okay, so something goes bad in the gut system, it gets inflamed, and what happens is now that immune system or that mechanism of the gut line is damaged. So what happens? The bacteria and pathogens there are finding a new place to stay. And for some reason, they love the scalp. But this is why I believe they love the scalp, because it seems to be an upside down, inside out stomach. It has the same ridges as the stomach does. It's warm like the head. It has plenty of, at at least at one time, plenty of blood flow from all the different hairs And when you add in products and all these other things, it's it's a great breeding ground for a pathogen, right? So I believe sincerely that the pathogens settle into the scalp. And when they settle into the scalp, rather it's a demodex, some sort of bacteria from the gut, some sort of yeast, the follicles become inflamed. They try to fight it off because they have you know, their own immune system or, fi- or or immune privilege. They don't do it. The body comes in and that's when hair loss ensues. The commentators and people who speak about it and researchers, we kind of pass up this thing about this pathogenic or this protein or the, the first cause of the trigger point of balding or the trigger point of losing our hair or male pattern balding or androgenetic alopecia. It is something to the immune system seeing a part of our body that's always been there since we were born and it decides that that is in fact now a threat. I don't believe it at all. So let's look more into pathogens in the gut. Let's look more into why the scalp is inflamed. Let's look more into why DHT, who I call the immune system super soldier, is there camped out attempting to corn things out. So that's my video for today. Hopefully something here has helped you to halt hair loss and or restore it. If so, hit the like or subscribe. If not, give another video a chance. I am pretty sure you'll find something interesting. But if I can do it, you can do it too. Let's get you back to the park.